get today's show underway. Here we go, green is out. 10 lap heat race to go along with their 40 lap feature today. As we said, three guys in the hunt for the championship today, one of them here in heat number one. And the other pair will be in heat number two. Close call coming out of turn two. Rodney Brooks shut the door on Josh St. Clair. Jamie Wright still working the outside lane. Jeremy Worf up to fourth and all alone right now. No doubt Josh looking a little quicker in the 14 car, but wedged in there with nowhere to go, running third right now. Actually, he ends up grabbing the second spot by just two one thousandths at the line that time. Boxed in right now in that runner-up position. And the points very tight atop the top three here was Cassett. It'll come down to the final race this afternoon and possibly even the final lap. Five down, five to go. Rodney Brooks has got that 12 car settled in now, holding the lead over Josh St. Clair and Jamie Wright. Jamie pedaling hard on the outside. Josh sticks the nose underneath as Rodney Brooks slides up into turn one. That's the opening he needed. He takes advantage, puts the 14 car into the lead. Two laps to go when they come back around to the stripe. Jamie Wright with problems in that 84 car, really fighting the handling and dropping out of contention for this one as the white flag flies, one to go. Wright will head down pit road in the meantime, a final spin through turn three and four, checkered flag awaits. Josh St. Clair will take the win. Problem for Nick Reno on the back stretch. He had to get out of the gas and the traffic stacks up behind him. Scott Chabuck with the lead. Reno and Douglas locking horns over there in turn two. Douglas comes out of it with second. Nick Hinckley to the third spot. Reno shuffled back to fourth. Steve Chacoin, a little bit off the pace there in the 53. Now Kevin Douglas has the tiebreaker between he and St. Clair, so Josh is gonna have to beat him outright. Halfway when they come around this time, Scott Chabak, the five-time Pro Stock champion. Kevin Douglas gaining a little bit of ground on him now. That 18 car starting to come to life. Within a car length now, peaks to the inside, then swings out wide. Kevin Douglas testing that outside on the five-time champ. That car's been really good on the outside here in the second half of the season. Larry Gelinas heads down pit road in the number 37. Two laps to go this time by for Scott Chabak and Kevin Douglas. Another good run down into turn three. White flag ready to fly. (laughs) 
Douglas willing to stay out there to the outside, at least for the time being. Gonna give it one more try into turn three. Final time out of turn four, checkers fly. Scott Chabot will take the win. Here they come, Pro Stocks. Down the back shoot shuffle they go. Josh St. Clair, Rodney Brooks, and Scott Chabak, one, two, three. Brooks trying to get down low, but he can't do it. Chabak has a fender underneath as they get to turn two. Oh, close call for Kevin Douglas. He hung it out wide out of turn two, nearly grazed the back stretch wall. Shabak moves up into second. Brooks back to third. Then the 77 of Nick Reno. Reno runs in fourth, Hinkley fifth. Single file except for that 84 of Jamie Wright. The anchor is out and that car is drifting back quickly. Sideways. Jamie dirt tracking it and all the way down to pit road he goes. Josh St. Clair out front taking advantage of that front row starting spot. Shabak second, Douglas working that outside lane is in fourth, now going after third on the outside of Rodney Brooks. Three wide onto the front stretch. <laughs> Douglas caught on the outside of Brooks and Reno. Things getting real tight back there from third position back. <laughs> Douglas has got to reload and jump down to the inside to try to get by the 12. Front two cars look solid. A lot of racing back behind them from third position back. Nick Reno's got the inside lane on Nick Hinckley. They'll go wheel to wheel for third. Douglas coming back again. Hinkley gets out around Reno to move up into third. Oh, trouble for Douglas. He and Reno get together, heading down the back stretch. Track is blocked, the double zero is up there as well. Jeremy Wharf ends up up against the 77. Finishes. Chabuck and St. Clair locked up tight up there in a battle for the lead. Nick Hinckley to the third spot, Shane Lane fourth. Kevin Douglas is locked up down there in the number 18 car, waiting for things to get sorted out. Gets to the inside of Larry Gelinas, but a pair racing side by side up in front of him now and Brent Roy and Rodney Brooks. Douglas squeezes underneath, they'll go three wide into turn three. Brooks backs out of it. Douglas up into fifth. Kevin Douglas has got to finish in third place or better if St. Clair wins the race. So he's got two more spots to go. 
Josh is doing what he needs to do, leading this race. Black flag on the 37 of Larry Gelinas. Douglas has to advance one more position. He's got a nearly a full straightaway to catch Scott Chabak. Halfway, 20, 21 down now, 19 to go. St. Clair's advantage, 1.3 seconds now over Nick Hinckley. Gotcha buck solid in the third spot. Then a half straight away back to the 18 of Kevin Douglas. Josh St. Clair, actually the fastest car on the track right now. Kevin Douglas, second fastest that last time around. Closest battle right now is for that fifth position. Shane Lane's got it in the number 02. Rodney Brooks giving chase in the 12. Shane Lane trying to nail down his first top five of the season. Josh St. Clair trying to make history here at Wiscasset Speedway. He's doing what he has to do leading this race. If he wins, Kevin Douglas has got to finish in third or better. This time by 10 laps to go. 30 laps down, 10 to go for St. Clair, Hinckley, and Chibok. Hinckley a four-time champion, Chibok a six-time champion. Josh St. Clair trying to nail down his third championship in this one season. Douglas is closing in on that number one car. He's within a half a straightaway. He might catch him, but then he has to pass him. Absolutely. Time is ticking down. 33 complete now. Seventy-seven of Nick Reno is off the pace. Reno running back in eighth at the time. St. Clair working that lap traffic. Five laps to go. Trouble on the front stretch for Shane Lane. He keeps it going, so no caution. Yeah. 
That was the opening that Douglas needed, but Lane fired it up and took off, so we stay green. Next time by the strike, two laps to go from history. Rodney Brooks off the pace in the 12. He caught him. Douglas is within a couple car lengths, but Chabuck stretches it back out to three with one lap to go. Final time down through turn three and four. Checkered flag is ready to fly. Josh St. Clair takes the win. Hinkley will finish in second. Chabuck finishes third. Kevin Douglas will finish in fourth. Steve Chacoin brings it home in fifth. So here we go. Jesus, I don't think I've ever talked to you so much I have in the last two weeks in victory lane, huh? Yeah, it's unreal, man. This is just unreal, how that all played out. And, and uh, I hate to see Kevin have problems, but a little bit of me was smiling. Oh, no, absolutely. You put yourself in position to try to win this championship. So you got three fast race cars. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, and Ken will be aware of this now, too. You're going to lose one of them because you do some amazing burnouts. And I watched Gramps over here at the Boss Hog try to do burnouts in that little thing he's got. And that thing's a piece of junk. So he's going to take one of these, put some cruiser lights on the top. He says next year he's coming to do some burnouts. But, no, that's exciting and exciting for you and the crew. I mean, three championships. There's guys that will race a lifetime and never get one. And you're going to get three in one season. Yeah, well, I feel like it's been a lifetime without one as it is now for me. So, uh, you know, it's just unreal for how it all just plays out, you know, chasing down Jonathan and then uh, – the only shot I had at this one was to get out front and just win the damn thing. So, uh, and hopefully Kevin didn't make it, you know, uh, or didn't make it close enough. So uh, I got to thank everyone, you know, Forrest Beasley again, our thoughts are with his family and uh, no one for sponsoring this division, you know, it makes it go. Uh, everyone that comes every weekend and all these guys that bust ass every night over there, you know, between from making food to turning wrenches, you know, it takes a whole group to make it all happen. So. And you don't just do it by accident with three of them, you know. We all get, we got it together pretty good this year, and uh, I'm proud of these guys, you know. No, and and you do the job behind the wheel, though. They can give you the best race car that they can give you, but you still get the job done behind the wheel. And and how about a little kudos to you um, for the job you did? Because there was three chances to not win three championships, and you backed it up and won three of them. So how about a round of applause for Josh St. Clair? You know what I mean? The guy that's holding the steering wheel. Yeah, well, I had a couple good guys teaching me how to do it, so. All right, well, great job. That's your champion, feature winner, and uh, I don't know what else he can do this week or, or this month, and that's Josh Sinclair. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Steve. And uh, we had posted this on Facebook as well, and uh, this is kudos to a couple of the great racing families here at Wiscasset Speedway. By winning uh, his late model championship last week and his two championships today, uh, the St. Clair family now boasts three generations of champions here at Wiscasset Speedway. Of course, with Boss Hogg uh, winning a, a limited sportsman title here, his, uh, Josh's dad, Punson, winning three championships here, and Josh himself. They join the Ripley family in having three generations of champions here at Wiscasset Speedway. With the Ripleys, of course, it all started with old Doug Ripley. Uh, then uh, Darren Ripley winning the Pro Stock Championship a few years ago, and and then uh, Ryan Ripley, a, a two-time champion himself, uh, making it three, cha uh, three generations of champions well, here. We'll catch up with a former champion here. He, he had a runner-up, but absolutely, you didn't have nothing for the 14. I don't know if you know it, but I'm going to tell you, you didn't have nothing for that 14. No, nah, he was real good. He was real good. Uh, pretty neat, though, uh, giving Scott the old quote here, but me and Josh were little peons here watching Scott out here when he was winning championships, so... It's uh, a little bit different now, but uh, congrats to Josh. <laughs> Kid deserves it this year. He's done a hell of a job every division he's run. So, um, yeah, definitely hats off to him. No, absolutely. And you had a great year yourself. You know, obviously, Kevin and Josh seem to win their lion's share of the races, but uh, you rolled in here the last day with a legitimate shot at your championship if they had some failures. Yeah, I just opening day when I parked it in the backstretch, that kind of did me in for the year. We just 
don't really have enough cars to make up for it, but um, overall, we had a great second half of the season, won four races, tied with my most ever in a season, so really got to thank the sponsors, Norm's Used Cars, Ideal Portable Toilets, the Galley uh, Restaurant, Delano Seafood, also my wife, my kids, all the pit crew down in the, down in the pits, uh, and my old man, couldn't do it without you guys. Also, uh, you know, the, the horrible news of Forrest, it's too bad, race community really could use people like that, and uh, uh, heartfelt goes out to his family and, and all his kids that couldn't make it here too. Oh, absolutely. So runner-up finish, uh, Norm from Norm Jews Car, the division sponsor, got a trophy for you. So congratulations, Nick. But Scott, great run. I mean, you had a couple of fast cars in front of you, but finishing on the podium last day, not, not bad at all. Yeah, it's real good. I got to thank Rich and Vanessa and all the guys in the pits. It was a good run. All right. Well, no, congratulations. We got Norm Sherman from Norm Jews Car, the division sponsor. Got a nice trophy for you. So... Great job, third place runner-up. Uh, third place finisher, Scott Chabot.